get ready. Gardaland is a theme park in northern Italy on the shores of Lake Garda. It's owned by Merlin Entertainments and is famous for rides like Raptor, Oblivion the Black Hole and the newly opened Jumanji the Adventure. But today we're looking at some of the more hidden details that can be found in Gardaland. While people come for the big attractions, the hidden gems embellish the park and make us want to come back again and again. Before we start, we'd just like to give you a quick reminder to hit the like button on this video and subscribe if you enjoy our content as it really helps us reach a bigger audience. Anyway, these are our top 7 hidden gems for Gardaland. Get ready. Number 7. The Black Hole Oblivion the Black Hole is no hidden gem by any means, but some of the theming around this amazing dive coaster goes a little under the radar. The drop for this ride takes you through a hole into the ground, as most dive coasters do. As the name suggests, you're being sucked into a black hole here. It's not hard to spot the van and the farm windmill being sucked in with you, but there are a number of other things being sucked in too. If you look carefully, you'll see bricks on the ground nearby being warped by the black hole. A corner of Silver Saloon, a nearby restaurant from the Old West area, is also being sucked into the black hole. And if that's not enough, a nearby bush is grown in such a way that it looks as though it's being sucked into the black hole too. These are some amazing details that cement Oblivion the Black Hole as a world-class attraction. Number 6. The Raptor Coat On the topic of world-class attractions, Raptor is a wing coaster in Gardaland that opened in 2011. The general theme of this attraction is that there is a containment area trying to keep in an unknown animal. This is a radiation area and there's a fallout shelter. A company called X-Labs is aiming to contain the fallout and the mysterious animal and have built structures and cages in an attempt to do so. But a keen eye will notice that one of the key structures has a series of numbers on its beam. The numbers are 01042011. It's probably not too hard to work out that this was the opening date of Raptor. 1st of April 2011. This would have been the start of the season for Gardaland as they always reopen after the winter around this time. While this is one of the easier hidden gems to spot in Gardaland, not everyone may know what it actually means. Number 5. The Water Buckets in the Old West Old West is an American western frontier town, home to some restaurants and shops. While it doesn't have any big attractions to boast, it's one of the main paths from the entrance of Gardaland to the back area of the park. Naturally, you'll find yourself walking through at least once on your visit to Gardaland. It can be hard to come across water fountains in this park, and while all of the shops sell bottled water, we have a better solution. About halfway through the Old West Town, you'll see a bunch of hanging buckets that look like they've been shot as they're leaking water from both sides. A sign above them reads Aqua Potadile, which means drinking water. You can drink right from the streams coming from the bullet holes in the buckets or fill up a water bottle here to drink later. It can take a while to fill one up though. Either way, this is a pretty fun way to get refreshed while you're making your way from one area of the park to the other and it's one of our favourite hidden gems in Gardaland. Number 4. Area Relax It can be hard to find a quiet place to chill out in theme parks at the best of times. The hustle and bustle of parks is often what we come for, but sometimes you just need to get away from it all and take a breather. Gardaland has you sorted with this one, providing an area near Shaman called Area Relax. Themed to Native American Pacific Northwest design, much like Shaman, you'll find totem poles and art pieces in this area. And while you're still somewhat surrounded by rides, it actually does offer some serenity as it takes you far off the path. The ground is made up of wooden tiles which feel nice to walk on, and the area has plenty of benches and bins. This is really considerate of Gardaland to include, as such areas can be really helpful to people with autism, families with young kids, and really anyone looking to take a meaningful break on their visit to Gardaland. Number 3. The Snoring Prisoner Back to Old West, between the main town and Silver Saloon, you'll cross a jail cell with a sign above it reading Penitenciario, meaning penitentiary. This is one of the very simple hidden gems in Gardaland to spot, but the kind of thing we love to see when we're walking around a theme park. You'll hear some loud snoring coming from the jail cell as you pass by, and if you stop to look in, you'll see a prisoner completely conked out. Again, little features like this really embellish the park and make simply walking around a much more enjoyable experience. Number 2. Escape from Atlantis Viewing Area Escape from Atlantis is a huge water ride at the edge of the park. 
It's actually quite unique in that you can walk almost all the way around it and there are many great spots to view it from. To be brutally honest, this ride is almost as enjoyable off-ride as it is on-ride. The ride is fairly slow and while the two drops are good, there's very little to look at on board otherwise. But again, it makes for a good picture and you can find some interesting viewing spots. As you approach the ride, you might actually mistake a grand entrance as the way to the ride. It's actually just a way up to view one of the drops, with the ride station around the corner. But if you follow the steps nearby, you'll actually find yourself on the roof of the ride station, which offers some more great views. This area is fairly hidden, so there's usually nobody here. It may not be the most useful hidden gem in this video, but it's a nice spot to take photos all the same. Number 1. The Transgarda Land Express We love a theme park train. Usually it's even better when there's more than one station and the train has an actual transport utility. Unfortunately, the Transgarda Land Express has just one station and doesn't offer that, but it more than makes up for it with where it will take you. The train begins by taking you through some areas of the park. It quickly brings you under and around Raptor which offers some great and unique views. But then you'll find yourself in a tunnel and you'll be surrounded by landscapes, animals playing instruments and the Garda Land dragon mascot himself, Pretzimolo. It's fairly short, but this is basically a secret dark ride. It's almost like a short snippet of It's a Small World found in Disney parks. We think it's crazy that this train is an advertised more and is easily one of our favourite hidden gems in Gardaland. If you enjoyed this video, check out our video on best restaurants in Gardaland. That concludes our seven hidden gems in the park. Now you're ready. How many of these hidden gems have you spotted in Gardaland before? And do you know of any more that we've missed? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And now you're ready.